welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to give your leopard gecko a bath and how to get a little bit stuck shut off. My leopard gecko Noah has like just a small piece on his nose and also he's been a while since he gave a bath and he seems to enjoy it. So, but before I get started, make sure you smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and kick that notification bell out of here. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you his tank and the setup I have. Kick ass door over here. Normally I lay a towel down. So I'm going to go and grab a towel. Um, this is the container I bathed him in. Um, it's way too small for him now, but he can fit in here, and there's not a lot of water, so he's not going to be strangling. I'm going to have, like, literally just show his feet when his feet are in there. They're up to, like, his ankles. You don't want a lot of water, and what you do is you just take a Q-tip, rub it on the shredded area, and I'll show you guys that. So I'm going to go fill this up with water that's, like, 70 degrees. Um, it's warm to the touch, but not hot. And then I'm going to get a rag to put that there, and then I'll come back when we're taking him out. Okay guys, so we're back at Noah's cage. I got the towel down. We got water. As you guys can see, all that swirly stuff in there. That's because it's tap water, and you just want to put some Repti Safe in there. Get a decent amount, and look at as the Repti Safe mixes in. I don't know if you guys can see. All that swirly stuff is gone. So that just shows you how much crap is in the water. So I'm going to put the Repti, Repti Safe back, take Noah out, and get back to you guys. Okay guys, so I got my leopard gecko. No, I'm just filming one-handed. I don't know if you guys can see that spot on his nose. He actually has like a white spot if it would focus right on his nose. So that is his shed. So I'm gonna figure out how to set up the camera while doing with him, because I definitely need two hands. So I'm gonna get back to you when I set it up. Okay guys, so I'm actually right here. I got Noah on my chest. Let me just get him down and I'll put him in the bath. You never wanna just plop them in the bath. You kinda wanna slowly introduce them into the bath. So I'm just trying to get Noah down off my shirt he's currently right there if you guys could just see him real quick i am pulling him off not like pulling him that sounds wrong i'm just like trying to get him off he is not in a good mood um so i'm gonna cut when i can actually get him in my hands i thought he would come down nicely but today he has not decided to be nice actually okay guys i got him down he's right here as you guys can see he does not want a bath the light would focus so i'm just gonna put him in as you guys can see i barely have any water in there you just want to make sure the water is good i just keep my hand in there when he gets his baths he um does not really like his baths if you guys know that um so you just gotta gotta kind of make sure he doesn't get out you just want that one spot left guys see they'll soak in it for a little but you guys always want to let your geckos just come out of the bath because they enjoy it and some of them but if they don't feel safe in there do what i do i just keep my hand in there and they'll feel pretty calm and then sorry guys for the bad angle i just put him on the towel to dry um yeah he's about to escape on camera so like just let him sit there for a second and let him dry off and then since his holding session is not over i will um, that just loosens up the shed on his nose, by the way. At this point, you could try to peel it off, which I'm probably going to do while holding him because I can't do it on camera because I need two hands to make sure he doesn't escape while trying to peel it off. But you can just generously kind of go like this and just like peel it off. And he's, um, I don't know if you guys have a gecko as tame as me who will let you like put your hands on their face and stuff like that. But my gecko is definitely pretty tame. Also, sometimes, guys, they love, like, my gecko loves burritos. He just thinks he's, like, the best thing in the world. Probably going to do this as my thumbnail shot if he'll stay. So I'm going to be back, take the thumbnail, and I'll come back. Okay, guys, I just took my thumbnail shot because I use my iPad as my um, thumbnail. But he's just still sitting here, so I don't know if he enjoys it. Um, He is trying to peel the shut off. I've seen him, like, scratch at it. But... It is loosening up. I don't know if you guys, if you'd focus, focus, focus. It's loosening up like very much. He almost got it off. I don't want to hit him with the camera, but it's almost coming off. So I'm probably going to take a Q-tip and just try to get that of that. Also, it's, guys, it's good to give your life for gecko baths every so often because I don't know if you guys know. Under, I would show you, but he's kind of comfortable. They have right under, so imagine this is the belly. Right under near their tail, males actually have these things called feminine pores. And... They will excrete this thing that every so often you just need to clean off and make sure they're good. If they have proper high humidity, they'll be fine. But, yeah. Okay, guys. So, 
here he is still. Sorry, I just had somebody coming up the stairs. So, again, like I was saying, I would just come in here and try to... You just want to rub it, and that will eventually peel off, guys. And it's not like it's on a toe, where if it was on a toe, you could get it off pretty easy. Again, you could, I would, if he has stuck shed in his toe again, I will show you, but as you guys know, he has bioactive tank, and the humidity is perfect, so he never gets stuck shed. It's the only time he's actually gotten stuck shed since I've had him, which is really good, as you guys can see. I think he just, like, likes watching himself. This is actually kind of chill. If you guys will look, you'll see my thumbnail, but before you click on the video, but this is actually pretty sick. What if he, like, goes... Oh, okay, I think he doesn't want to be in it anymore. But, this is pretty cool, guys. And also, it's good um, if your reptile is constipated. Baths will actually help them um, release, let's just say, release that um, stuff, if you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, so if your reptile is constipated or has trouble using the bathroom this will help them release it so i think this is going to do it for this video guys it was kind of just like a fun bath time video hope you guys enjoyed it smash that like button hope you guys enjoyed noah being pretty much cute and looking at himself in the reflection but before noah escapes i'm going to end this video thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you on the next one peace